Writing is a central, if not the central technique in qualitative research and evaluation. If analysts do not constantly, regularly write, they flat out rob themselves of one of the most powerful techniques for discovery. Because of the importance of writing for analytic work, MaxQDA features a growing variety of functions for jotting, speculating, synthesizing, documenting, or for reviewing teamwork. For example, in recent versions, writing tools like paraphrases, code comments, and summary grids have been integrated and refined. However, memos remain to be the workhorse when it comes to the annotation of data. And memos are pivotal to many analysis workflows. In this spotlight session, I will introduce the new features that you will see related to memos in MaxQDA 2020. I will start with a brief discussion of the role of memos in different coding workflows to ground some of the new features in analytic practice. Next, I will briefly walk you through the new layout for memos and I'll show you the new sidebar in the document browser that expands how you interact with memos in MaxQDA 2020. So here are a few examples of how writing in memos creates a pivotal process during, during um, analytic work. So let's start with a basic use of memos that you may already know from uh, MaxQDA 2018. So I may already have some defined code that I use to group data based, for example, on a specific topic. Um, the next step would be that I'll review the data that's in my code because I have already codings assigned to that code. Um, and then I will write up what is in this code, what's in this bucket, uh, in this code memo that is attached to the code. So here in the MaxQDA screen, you would see here, for example, in the code system, you would have a code memo attached to this code and the code contains all these little codings and I use the memo to summarize or to expand on what is in this coding bucket. Uh, so this is a very standard workflow that you may already know from previous versions. Another example is that I may actually start with my memos. So uh, in an interview study that I recently conducted, I first wrote case summaries as I was doing my first read through the data. And I printed these memos and I read them all again and I uh, thought of potential cross-cutting themes or cross-cutting topics between all those memos that I wrote. And I created a code in MaxQDA, but as I created the code, I also created a code memo. And in this code memo, I fleshed out what would potentially go into this code. And then I started coding from here. So this is another step that may be before a step um, of the coding process I showed you earlier. And one very helpful thing about a workflow like this um, is that you can actually also link memos to um, uh, link codes to memos together. So here you see a um, memo. Uh, and you can see here the linked codes, which is also not a new function, um, but a very useful function. Um, I can say, for example, the code learning from others or the code figuring it out relates to this memo. So this helps me to connect what I'm writing with what I'm trying to define. And here's another workflow um, that uh, you can use and that you is now... Um, even more um, concretely supported through MaxQDA 2020. So let's say I have survey data that is already coded based on very broad topical codes. So for example, it could be something like question one, question two, question three. Yeah? Um, so I have that data already coded, but I want to create th more thematic codes. Um, what I can do is I can actually attach already coded data, different codings, to a memo. In previous versions of MaxQDA, you could do this by copying coded segments and just pasting them in a memo as text, which is also very helpful and still possible. But with the new version of MaxQDA, you see here, there's a linked coded segments window in which you can link um, coded segments directly into the memo. And that can help you to ground your writing even closer to the data that you're actually reviewing. And the nice thing here is if you're using Max Maps, you can actually make, uh, import a memo into your map and you can display those coded segments as well and 
I made these little screenshots here actually with Max Maps, so you can see here that you can put a memo in and you can have these connections to different codings in Max Maps directly. So I showed you the window uh, for memos. That window for memos will always look the same. It doesn't matter what kind of memo you're creating, but where do you find memos? So as usual in MaxQDA, you have uh, the opportunity to put memos here in your document system on a document level, for example, for folders. You can also have individual memos that are attached to different cases. And you can also create sets, and these sets can also have memos. For example, if you want to write a summary of all the things that are in a specific set. Uh, next, you can have your code, uh, code memos attached to codes, and you can have in-text memos as usual. Um, so you can have as many memos as you want in a given document. Uh, that's not new, but what is new is this little sidebar here on the side that you see. So um, this sidebar here allows you to actually preview and see the memo that you're writing here in text. And that is a really powerful option because if you have shorter memos or if you have memos that have maybe summaries on top of them, you can look through your data and browse your data as you are browsing your um, writing. Or to turn it around, you can browse your writing and reflect on your writing as you are reviewing your data itself.